What's up, Pisces? It's your girl, Kelly, coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot B in Boston. So yes, your reading is last. I know you guys half the time are like, is my reading coming? I'm like, your reading is always coming, my babies. Um, my little fish, actually one of my closest friends, her name is Jackie, and she'll be watching this. And she's the one who sent me the teddy bear and she is a Pisces. So I call her my lovely little fish or my loving little fish. Um, I quite love you guys' energy. Um, and I think it's beautiful. It's poetic. Uh, when I look at a Pisces aura, I see a lot of poetic people, a lot of um, artists. I see a lot of um, just you're very poetic in the way that you express yourself in the way that you live your life. You're very, very poetic. And to me, I enjoy things that are poetic. I'm a huge, huge fan of Shakespeare. I always have been. Um, so I love that poetic sense of style that you guys have. Um, I'm a huge fan of art, depending on what it is. I'm very artsy. Uh, I guess being a full, you know, Aries first to can has a lot to do with that. I feel like right now, for your work, you guys are largely successful. I feel like you guys are, are doing okay. There was a break there or a period there where I feel like you were struggling through. Um, the energy I'm getting is you were struggling through and now it seems like the blessings or the abundance is, um, is coming in. Uh, for some of you, it may, Oh, let me, let me do the spiel. Hold on. I hate this. I love just reading, but I feel like if I don't say this, then it won't get said. Okay. So, um, this is for Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Mars, and Venus, Chiron, or anywhere else you have Pisces placed in your chart because they all, and I know someone said they hate this word coagulate, if you will, to create your personality. Sorry, but that's really the only word I can join. Uh, I mean, it, none of it really describes it as delicately as coagulating is slowly coming together. Um, we don't form as an individual overnight. So coagulate is the term I like to use. Sorry guys. Um, so it's like you went through this period of like a dry spell and second guessing yourself, second guessing your career. Um, oh, you know, I get right back to the reading and then I forget the spiel. So even though I'm talking about Pisces, this very well come in, could come in vice versa. It could come in your partner's energy or your energy. So if you're cross watching, know that it can come in either way. It can come in and what you're going through, or it can come in and what your partner's going through. Don't mind my crazy hair today. My, uh, other half decided he loved my, um, bedhead type look. And so I tried to add a little moisture in there, a little bit of curl. And, uh, now I look like a sheep head. But um, you can thank him for the sheep head that you have to stare at through this whole video. Um, anyway, back to the nature of things. This could very well come in in yours or your partner's. That one hair was irritating me. <laughs> yours or your partner's energy. Um, but I also feel like somebody here is hurt. And I feel like that page of swords, like somebody's waiting for an apology here and a truth. Somebody's waiting for an admittance of wrongdoing toward them. And I feel like there's a stuck energy there. So I don't know if it's you or your partner, Pisces, but one of you owes the other an apology and some truth. Um, and this is even before I'm shuffling. So I feel like there was maybe some behaviors there, Pisces, that weren't so good on your partner's part um, or weren't so good on your part. Like I said, I can say Pisces, um, but it could very well play out from your perspective. It could very well play out as a cross watcher. So just know that, you know, if you're still confused about cross watching, please leave a comment below uh, in a nice fashion. I don't like people uh, being nasty on my page. So I keep poly positives and get rid of anti negatives. Um, the other thing. Oh, yes. The fun part. I forgot the fun part. Leave it to me. We are still having a contest um, right now. Scorpio is in the lead with 33,000 views and umpteen million likes uh, for their video. But we are having a contest. Whoever sign their video is viewed the most at the end of next month. I'll come back and look. I'm giving you all equal time to do it. I'm giving you the entire month to get your views up. Um, 
and whoever has the most views, I'm going to go into the comments and I'm going to choose somebody for a free reading or um, my other half who hides behind the camera. Um, she will come in and I'll let her choose someone for a free reading. So one of us will choose someone in the comments for a free reading and you'll get specific instructions um, to write in so that we know that it's you. That's one. Um, aside from that, back to the fun stuff. Um, I feel like a lot of communication coming in about emotion. Um, I feel like there was some communication. You guys are very complicated this month for me. Um, my uncle's a Pisces, my friend's a Pisces, my other friend's a Pisces, my friend Linda, who is also my other best friend. Um, and I feel like... You're just, you're waiting for an apology to come in. And this could be a family member um, that you feel hurt you. This could be a friend. This could be a significant other. Um, this could be someone in your life that has great value to you. And so this apology is long awaited. And it doesn't look like um, you're getting it right now, but it looks like you and this party may be working toward it. And you're kind of finally working out your differences and getting to the point where somebody could say, I'm sorry. And, you know, I misunderstood or I shouldn't have treated you that way. Um, but I feel like some of you are coming out of the cold with somebody or they're coming out of the cold with you. And um, it looks like in my shuffling process here that you're not even sure why you were out in the cold. I feel like you were just standing out there like, okay, uh, so I guess I'll beg now. What the fuck just happened? And it went from, you know, what you thought was a healthy, at least, I mean, as healthy as you can be in 2019, um, a healthy family relationship or love relationship to this. And it was like, well, I don't get it. And this person's maintained being upset with you. Um, you know, they've maintained their reasoning for being upset with you for a very long time, it feels like. Uh, could be several months, several years, could be ongoing, like a decade or two. Um, but it's like they've manipulated the situation without, they haven't, let me explain it this way. So you haven't told someone how you felt and that they upset you, but you put them out in the cold. And they don't quite understand the concept of why they're out in the cold. Um, if you let them feel like the conversation was justified, the comment was justified, the action was justified by not saying anything, putting them out in, cold, in the cold is very unfair because they don't understand why. Now, if you speak up to them and you tell them, hey, what you did really hurt my feelings or I felt that this was inappropriate because of a, B, C, and D, this whole thing could have been avoided. But unfortunately, one of you didn't come forward with your feelings and it balled up and it turned into them going out into the cold, all that bickering, all this manipulation now because, you know, you didn't want to tell them how you were feeling or they didn't want to tell you how they were feeling. And it ended up disastrous when it could have been avoided by simply saying, hey, you hurt my feelings. You hurt my feelings. Four words could have avoided this entire weeks, months, years worth of disaster. But it looks like there's some happiness coming because you've got the 10 of cups and you've got the 10 of pentacles. So you've got the, you know, a healthy, wealthy home life, if that's what it is, or you have a, an abundant, whatever abundance is to you, you may not have a lot, but your home is home and emotional happiness, but it's saying, you know, be very careful because you're teeter tottering on the edge of being outside and you haven't apologized or they haven't apologized completely. And so the feelings here still need to be worked out. So when going back to this person, whether it's a son, a daughter, a mother, a father, a significant other, you have to understand that you threw them out in the cold and didn't give them a warning. And so even though they're um, forgiving you. It, they can't just forget all that time that they felt wronged because they didn't know what they did. And so you have to be careful when getting back into this, that you don't fall back into this phase of manipulating it. So it makes it seem like, of course, they upset you, but you never told them. So how do they know? 
Think about it, guys. Um, I feel like a lot of you are leaving behind an old lifestyle is what they're telling me. Um, you're leaving behind an old lifestyle of um, either your partner is or you are partying, um, having options. Somebody here is, is bored with this lifestyle. They want something that they can hold on to. Not all these random different cups, one for each of different week or weekend or night or whatever it is. It's like they're coming toward the secrets. They're coming toward the truth. They're coming toward the surface and the light. And you may get a lot of communication from that person that they're now coming out of this, that they're now coming out of being who they were into who they want to be. And it may be a little bit hard for you to kind of buy it just because it's a sudden change. And I'm thinking this is probably possibly linked to that as well. Um, it could be why you haven't spoken to this person, their behaviors, immaturity, um, just walking away and not telling anybody why, just manipulating and firing information at somebody and they don't know that you're upset with them. They think that, you know, they don't know what they've done. So, you know, um, it looks to me, hold on a minute, the debtor consulting here. It looks to me that taking a break from each other may have been the best thing that you guys have done, even though it wasn't quite, you didn't take a break in the way that you should. You didn't healthy, healthily come out and say, hey, you've upset me. I need a little bit of break from this. I need to step back and reevaluate. But whatever this break is, it's done you good. It brought true love into your life. There's a true love there. And a twin flame. But still, there's a stuck point of view. So, Pisces, if this is you guys, my loving little fish, um, you're in experiencing the same problem that Scorpio is experiencing this month. And um, discussing your feelings in the moment is more your lesson. Theirs is how to say it. They're having trouble on how to word when they're hurt. They're just holding it in and blowing up on the other person and weeks later and the other person is like, what are you talking about? And they're like, yeah, like two months ago you and they're like, I, I don't remember. And so wording it in the moment and telling in the moment is Scorpio's um, thing this month. With you guys, it's telling it, period. It's putting it out there, period. Um, Scorpio is not afraid to put their feelings out there. They are just deflecting, um, one situation that upset them weeks ago onto another situation that really isn't what's upsetting them, but it blows up because they don't know how to say, this is what's really upsetting me with you guys. It's like, you can't even get it out to word it. It's hard for you to even say like, this hurt me. And I feel like you really need to put that out there. You really need to find a way to tell someone that they've hurt your feelings. If they don't know, they can't do any better. They don't know. They can't rectify it. If they don't know, guess what, Pisces? They don't know. So they have no idea that your feelings are hurt. So of course you're going to get mad at them because they're going on like nothing happened because in their mind and what would be in my mind if I was them is everything's fine, right? Right. You're angry, but you're not letting it show. And so to the other person, they're just like, okay, everything's fine. Everything's normal. And then boom, one of these days you're going to explode and it's going to be for everything under the sun that you're angry about. And that's not fair to anybody, yourself included. All of that bottled up upset and anger and disappointment and fear, it doesn't do anybody's body any good. Stress is a bad thing for the body. Trust me. Um, and I feel like this very well could have been a relationship that you were in. Um, but I do feel strong family ties here as well. So we could be discussing for some of you. It's okay. 
here we go again. Forgot this part. This is a general reading. It's not going to fit every single Pisces that there is in the world. There's just no possible way to do that. And if I figure it out, you'll be the first to know. And knowing me, I will figure it out. <laughs> um, but it can be for the masses of you. It can be for the half of the mass, or it can be for a small number of you. Um, the messages come through as they will. I can't force them to tell me different things. I can't force them to um, tell me more or less. I can't force them. They just tell me what they tell me. I tell you, and we see how it resonates. And if it doesn't resonate, I just ask that you hit the like button so it continues to pull up in the feed. And other Pisces may get the message because expressing yourself is so important. And for Pisces to learn that would be a major step in Piscean evolution, if you will. Learning how to say you're upset in the moment. Now, it's like I said, it's very different from Scorpio's challenge this month in that they're trying to find the words because they're expressing it. They're just a few weeks late. And when they express it, it's the wrong wording. So with you guys, it's actually getting it out. Now I see that as a revolution in the Piscean environment. You guys don't talk about how you feel, but you feel very deeply. So splitting the deck guys. Some of you, I feel like, are either standing in your power very wrong or you're really upset at somebody who is. Somebody definitely has earned the silence. Um, but that wheel really, and that cycle, and that cyclical battling and holding your ground and telling them how wrong they are, it really needs to come to an end. You're getting nowhere. It's like you're on a fucking hamster wheel. You're just running and running and running and running and running. And you're telling them how wrong they are, but they don't know why they're wrong. So you really need to take a good look at how you are treating your significant other in terms of fairness. If you've never given them the opportunity to fix it in the moment and say, I'm sorry and be genuine, you can't very well be mad at them for not saying anything and then three months later, be like, when you did this and they're like, why didn't you say that three months ago? It's like this big. So I feel like the cycle of defending yourself really, really needs to end there. It, you need to stop defending this behavior of um, holding it in until it becomes the fastest messenger in the deck and cuts with the tongue, um, you know, and blows up. It's like, and you're blowing up on your significant others. You know, you could be, like I said, I feel family ties as well, but your significant other, you're blowing up on them and, and there's some serious hurt there. I also see this as a rush messenger in to end this relationship, whether it was your end or their end Pisces, somebody, there's a rush messenger telling me here that this relationship ended in the recent past. Um, for those of you in relationships, it, if we're talking about your significant other, um, this came to a halt really fast when you found out that Annabelle here, those of you who don't know Annabelle, um, I introduced her in some of my first videos. This is the most psychotic face in the world. And I don't like sleeping in the same room with her because I think she's going to kill me in my sleep. You have now met Annabelle. My balance card of the minor arcana. She is like the labor card. She is like the justice card, except she's psychotic. And don't be fooled by that creepy look on her face. Wouldn't be surprised if you see her over your bed at night. Is balancing, right? Balancing of two different lifestyles, two different marriages, two different relationships, two different things, and not doing very good at it. The give and take on this fell apart. Trying to balance it all at once. You can't balance two families or two relationships or what the fuck. You can't do that. Eventually it falls apart and those separate families get hurt. Those individuals get hurt. And this is deliberately hurting another individual that you may have children with. It's involving them in a mass family situation where we got one family and then surprise, here's my other family. So I didn't invite them to 
Chucky's fourth birthday. Really? And yes, Chucky was the um, pun on words where we've got Annabelle here. But I feel like... Um, Um, I feel like the give and take here kind of fell apart. It was like you were borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. It was like you were taking money or something and going between two resources. And it just, and it's like you had to take a step back from it. It, it. it just ultimately, all of it came crashing to the floor and came to an end. So this relationship does not look like it ended very well. Or both of these relationships or whatever it was you were doing. And here it talks about that, um, that trouble with work that you guys were seeing for a while. I don't know if you freelance or whatever you do, or you work in contracts where, you know, you're building things, but it looked like work slowed down significantly with the economy. And, um, um, here we're not having any sort of victory. It's like everything you tried, you got a roadblock for a long time. And it's like, you've been living off the bare minimum that you saved. And now that you saved it all, it's gone. Right. And it looks like it became pretty heavy. And the only job offers you were getting weren't really meeting the bills. It got pretty difficult here. Um, There's so much messages, work and family and being angry and cutting off ties. And this is all kinds of drama, Pisces. What have y'all been getting into? Okay. So. Sorry. I'm at, my email and my Skype, they go crazy. So. Okay, there was definitely a decision here. No doubt. Disappointment with um, somebody who was a soulmate. Oh, yes. This is just going to keep going on and on. My goodness. Are you serious? Well, looks like I'll be reading the whole deck. Here we go. You ready? Ready. Okay, the Knight of Wands comes in. Now, the Knight of Wands is the energy that's very charming and slick, very warm, um, likes to um, get in close, loves the chase, but then the chase is over, and suddenly this person is just bouncing in and out of your house, taking what doesn't belong to them. Pisces, this could be you or your partner. Like I said, borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. It's like you were going between with resources and money and blah, 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 blah. And pff, down it went. And it's like you were bouncing back and forth, but not making stable offers to either one. Or this could be work. You could be bouncing between jobs and not really making a stable offer to either one. And they're seeing you as... Um, irresponsible and immature. I uh, feel like you don't get your work done on time or something like that. However, when it talks about this, it also talks about a choice between two lovers. You've got two pages here of two different suits. So I feel like some of you made the wrong decision because your heart's closed off right now. Your heart, ch heart chakra is blocked. You're not making the right decision. Pisces, this is you or your partner. You're picking unstable characters. These characters are immature, unstable. Um, they're like dating teenage to 25 year old boys, it feels like, or girls. You know, they're very, um, they may be grown, but they're immature, very immature, still hanging out on the streets or slinging drugs or, you know, back and forth to jail or whatever this is. It's like, you need to, you need to make the choice to get away from this and to open your heart back up to love yourself. Whatever choices you're making in your love life, they're kind of calling you out on that. 
um, I feel like some of you may be behaving in those ways, um, not making these offers, um, using people, you know, using charm to get in close to people and then just taking advantage. So if this is you or your partner, this is, you should be ashamed. This is awful because not only are you monetarily taking advantage of them, taking action also talks about monetary and spending and getting vacations and you know things like that so if this is you doing this is pretty nasty um and i feel like someone came in and cut this off put a dead stop to it so either you or your partner was like that's it i'm done being used by you and not only that but that disappointment that disappointment and this was definitely um your um, soulmate energy. So you've got soulmate energy here. So this you're meant to learn how to put up boundaries from this person and how to express yourself in the moment. You probably should have told this person to go shit a brick and kick, sandal, kick rocks with sandals on, but you didn't. You got your heart broken by a third party. This person bouncing around or you're bouncing around doing whatever you want, whether you're married, whether they're married, it doesn't seem to matter. It just shows a blatant disrespect for um, the traditional relationship that they promised you or you promised them. It's like you broke the, the number one rule of a monogamous relationship doesn't involve a third party. Now, third parties can be family. They can be drug and alcohol interference. They could be friends causing problems, or they could be that your significant other has, you know, gone off. And in this case, it looks like a significant other because this person is using resources to support and juggle two different ways. But I don't see truth coming out here. I don't see that apology in this relationship, if this is a, you know, um, male, female relationship, female, female, male, male, it doesn't matter. Love is love is love. Either way that it goes, I don't see the truth coming out in this. There's that manipulation factor again with that seven of swords. I feel like no matter how much you get caught or no matter how much they get caught, they're not admitting their truths. And this cycle just doesn't end. This is who they are. And so that apology that you're waiting for that you feel is owed to you may never come. Um, yeah, looks like we're going through this whole thing here. <sighs> Days like this. The messages never stop, guys. They only get stronger. I'm trying to find stronger and stronger and stronger tarot decks to explain what I'm seeing and hearing. And it's like impossible. I see in so many dimensions, it's getting hard. It's hard for me to see the messages that are coming through in just regular tarot. It's very odd. Um, we've got the lonely wanderer. So this person leaves a trail of broken hearts and it's showing me like either you or them took a chance on this relationship. And this could be a family member too, who isolates themselves young, uh, full of energy and passion, but they isolate themselves and um, cut off family, cut off friends, and they may not be in the best of relationships. So they're cutting off all their support. But either way, this shows somebody taking a chance here on this person. And this person is my lonely wanderer, never settles down, you know, almost the Sagittarius of us fire signs, if you will, never settles down, really afraid of commitment, likes to run around and have their um, freedom and they're very free spirits. Um, but it shows secrets. It shows secrets. And if you notice, this traveler has their back to the, the fool taking the chance. It's like, go ahead, make a fool out of yourself. Because I have these secrets and I have... Bam, the mistress on the side or the mister on the side. And it's like they let you take this chance knowing that they weren't true to you or you weren't true to them. And that is awful. 
that is some serious karma and I wouldn't want to be you or them or whichever one of you is doing this to be perfectly honest I've never in my life done that to someone and I would never I've had it done to me but I would never um It's showing me just um, moving away from past negative behaviors, moving away from these influences. So maybe you're physically moving away because this is my card of travel, but it's also my card of, you know, the ships are coming in. You can see them in the background right there. Let me get the devil's ugly face out of the way. You can see them in the background right there and on the other side. So whatever you've, you've put harvest out for is coming in. But just remember that those ships don't just bring stuff in, they bring stuff out. So it's also a card of travel. And it could be that you're moving away from this influence um, physically, like physical move. It could be that you're spiritually moving away, emotionally moving away. But it's like you're moving away from whatever this is. You're no longer, this is your past position. You're no longer in that mode. You're more standing in that power of, I've taken these actions, these ships are coming in and I'm not gonna allow this to destroy me. I'm still gonna bring this into my life and manifest it. And it looks like it was a hard time getting there. Um, so you either have memories with the past person or the person that you're with, you have a past with or children with. So it's not so easy to, I, I see here that there is, um, I feel, there are parents bickering here about these children if you guys are in the middle of a divorce put down the nasty guns you're firing at each other and realize the need to co-parent both of these children need their other parent I don't give a shit what anyone says. My mom was a single mother and I did not come up the same way as other people who had fatherly influence and normal motherly influence. No, it doesn't work that way. You guys need to grow up. And I'm going to say this to you and you're probably going to be all mad and have your panties or your thong or your G string in a bunch or your, you know, whatever your boxers, but you need to grow up. And stop using the children like tug of war. This isn't okay. You need to fucking stop. When it comes to children being involved in this situation, all this arguing around them, you don't think they pick that up? Children are like sponges. So if they hear daddy calling mommy a bitch and then he slaps her, what do you think the son's going to grow up and do when he gets older? Most likely... Call his girlfriend a bitch and slap her. If the daughter sees mommy out of control going out drinking and hanging out with different men and leaving daddy home and her friends are telling her your mom was here with this guy, what do you think she's going to grow up and do? Your children are a product of their environment. So this shit needs to stop. You can be mad all you want. But you know I'm right. I feel like you're going to be... Yeah, you're going to be taking an action towards something that you wish. You've been previously closed off. Emotionally closed off. It's like you've been in hermit mode. It's like you've been in... Um, only letting certain people in. And this could be the complaint with your partner. Why... There, it's non-communicative, you know, like you're not communicating and this could be their complaint. And so I feel like you're moving towards something either you or they wish for taking a new action. I feel like you guys are working on yourselves. Touche. I'm proud of you. I told you this road wasn't easy, just rewarding. I don't yell at you guys to be mean. I don't yell at you guys to make you cry or to make you feel bad because some of you just have circumstances that can't be avoided. But those of you who are willingly doing stuff like this, yeah, I'm going to ball you out. I'm an Aries. That's what I do. 
But one thing I will never do is lead you wrong. I always say, I might let you stumble, but I'll never let you fall. It seems like you're coming out of this hermit mode. It's like you took action to fix this closed off part of yourself, fix this anxiety and all of this stuff that you don't want to let anybody in. It's like you went inside to get rid of these things because you're coming out of all of this. I see it's in the reverse and you're coming out of uh, your hiding while you were in there. You did what you wished. You took action. You took action on your emotions. You took control of your own mind back. You took control of your strength. You took control of who you are. The queen of wands always stands in her power, regardless of whether she's this way or this way. This way, if you're still getting heat from her, she loves you. The minute she starts treating you cold, you're done. So know that you're going from this into this, into this, out of this, out of this. And you're taking action to make your life better. And you're taking your damn power back. You're tired of being full of broken promises and uh, not opening up. A lot of you are tired. You want something real. You want something tangible. And in this world of millennials, it's very hard to find um, the things they refer to themselves as. They're not even human beings. They're fuck boys and fuck girls and all of this nasty culture. So trying to find something tangible is really on your mind. It's bothering you. And it's like, just as soon as you think you find that, you find someone else who can't fulfill that role. And also, and or you can't fulfill that role because you're busy closed off. I know it's going back and forth. It's for the ones that are closed, the ones that aren't, the ones that are, you know, yanking their kids around like a piece of spaghetti. It's all over the place. So there's something in here for every one of you. You want this new start, but you have to let go of the betrayal. Or maybe you thought this was a new start. And this is what ended up happening. I feel more like maybe you were iffy about opening up. Maybe you tried with somebody and you started this new fruitful path with them. But instead you got betrayed. And that's okay. I'm not saying being betrayed is okay. What I'm saying is we all take chances in life and every one of us gets our heart broken. We get hurt. We get scared. We get afraid. We get angry over it. You just never know what your reaction to that really is. Um, okay, so I've been talking for 37 minutes, so I'm going to stop babbling now and upload this video. Don't forget any information that you need for a private reading is in the box below. Please email me first. Do not Skype me and do not Facebook message me first. Unless you're emailing me and it's I'm not answering you, that means I'm not getting it. Um, I answer every single email in my inbox just about every day. Um, but that information is in the box below. So please email me first. Donation information is also in the box below. Um, make sure you get this video out to as many uh, Pisces as you can think of. We have that, of course, lovely contest going on. But also, this is a pretty heavy message. So I think that a lot of Pisces should really see this. Well, guys, this is your girl Kelly coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot B in Boston. I will catch you all on the flip side. See ya.